So a shocking incident at a Japanese middle school reveals the darker side of student and teacher relationships. And this case is really raising concerns about professionalism and boundaries in the educational setting. All right, so what is this all about? Well, recently a teacher violently assaulted a student after the student began mocking the teacher with an anime character's name. And really, this incident is really shedding a light on the complexities of student-teacher dynamics and the consequences of unchecked negative emotions. So if you're interested in learning more about this film, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, so what exactly happened? A middle school in Osaka Prefecture, a 38-year-old male teacher lashed out at a third year junior high school student. And what for, you may be asking? Well, for comparing him to an anime character due to similarities in how they look. And this altercation actually escalated when the teacher physically attacked the student, shoving him to the ground and delivering punches to his head and to his torso. And here's the disturbing thing, this incident wasn't isolated. As a previous altercation in May of 2022, you see the same teach subjecting a student to a lightly tight headlock. Now, despite being repeatedly teased by male students for his physical appearance, the teacher's behavior really went unaddressed by the school staff. And upon learning of these kinds of assaults by the same teacher, other students actually reported the incident to school authorities. And while the students who were attacked by the teacher only sustained minor injuries and they didn't require hospitalization, this kind of incident is going to leave a huge distrust of the education system and of teachers in general, which is not a good thing. And as for the teacher, they faced disciplinary action, including a 10% pay reduction for three months. And while personally I think that the teacher deserves a much harsher sentence, this is the reality of it. And this particular case really underscores the importance of maintaining professional boundaries and really addressing concerns of teacher misconduct in educational institutions. And not only that, but this disturbing event really prompts reflection on the responsibilities of educators to uphold professionalism and provide a safe learning environment for the students. And really, this also raises questions about the effectiveness of current disciplinary measures and the need to have comprehensive training to address issues of student-teacher interactions. But what steps should schools take to prevent similar incidents from happening? And how can they foster and create a culture of respect and accountability in the classroom? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And you know what, if you're interested in news like this in Japan, then guess what? You should probably learn some Japanese. So make sure you check out my free Japanese cheat sheet where I share with you the five simple but not well-known things of how to learn Japanese the fast, fun, and easy way. And until next time, everyone, stay waku waku.